Ah, ladies and gentlemen, uh, happy Independence Day. It is July 4th, uh, 2024. They, uh, America celebrates its Independence Day. Man, that's crooked. I gotta try to fix that. Uh, so, uh, 4th of July, I always like to, uh, uh, have tradition. And on the, uh, on America's Independence Day, I always like to show Independence Day model kits. Uh, this is the old uh, Lindbergh kit, which um, since round two and all of them have it, I know the licenses and all that. I kind of wish they'd reissue some of these. Make, uh, I want to say a Commander, you know, and just uh, a few other ones. But anyway, uh, this is the Alien. Uh, I have the ship one, but I only have like one or two ships. And uh, that was like everyone wanted that ship uh, immediately. And uh, that was gone. And uh, I built one, and it's... Uh, buried somewhere however i do have a bunch of the alien ones because they were uh, marked down at a place called the half price store many 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 years ago and uh i bought all they had and uh, i like the kit i think it stands up uh, uh, a really good model i really think it builds up great and uh, it's just one of those uh kits that you just don't see however there was one two four kits that came out of independence day one is uh mr alien alien ship a uh, biplane and an f-18 i didn't want the f-18 because you got uh so many f-18s to choose from like uh you know academy tamaya or whoever had a better f-18 than Lindbergh's, which uh, i was like ah you know didn't want that and i didn't want the uh biplane one however when they came out with the uh, biplane, I was like, well, why is this in the movie? It's not even in it. And I finally, later on, got to watch a deleted scene on why the biplane is in there. So, uh, remember Cousin Eddie uh, going up uh, to the mothership? Uh, he's with the F-18 with the bomb locked. The original one is that. He flew that up into it. I was like, oh. Now I want one. If I would have known that many years ago, I would have tried to uh, got that kit because that one was an actually cooler scene, the biplane going up than the F-18. But anyway, that's just me. But <clears throat> they just reissued uh, this kit into the uh, uh, Independence Day ID4 box, which uh, you know I do have one, but I would like to have the ID4 box to go with it. But anyway, that's uh uh that's the independence day and i never did get the f-18s which if i ever find it great you know it's not you know it's not you know the world but anyway we'd like to have it like to have uh, all four kits uh at least boxed at least uh have a set is what hopefully one day uh we will have that but anyway i always like to share independence day uh model kits on uh independence day so since we're in the shed update here up here you know i have a couple things uh it's very light just a couple more and uh one is uh since you get an unexpected day off you know you do uh travel the uh model craft stores and everything and uh i picked up the t-rex bank it was really cheap and uh i had to go looking here I, I thought i had one but wasn't quite sure but now i have two which is the way we like to work inside uh the art i like these Pretty much like a paint by number i like the vinyl kits i think they uh i think they're really a good painting tool and they do paint up into a nice desktop model i know they're not you know uh i want to say three-dimensional you know because they're connected to a base you know but i think they really and i have very fond memories and uh I'll, well let me say this uh I do have some of these. My dad had some, and he painted them, and I kept them. Man, dusty. And uh, I painted on them, too, you know, so we kind of did a combo thing. And uh, that's the original paint job from the early, early years, and uh, I keep stuff like that. I like these because it's just stuff you just don't see. And uh, I know they don't make model kits, you know, that you put together with, the, you know, stuff like that. But at least you can have... Uh, I had very fond memories painting stuff like that, so I try to pick these up and uh, add them to uh, the art. So, ladies and gentlemen, on the 4th of July, it's a lot of uh, me coming in here and 
uh, trying to put up because you get an unexpected day off and uh, got to get the workbench cleaned off because you got, you know, just trying to get everything accomplished, you know, try to get stuff uh, uh, put up and everything. But I did manage to buy, and uh, a little story here, uh, I have a pinball machine for the Ark. The, the Ark's first pinball machine and uh, 124 scale, it's an all resin kit. Uh, I know it's by AK, but it's also, I don't know the company Doozy, so I want to have to do a little, I got to do a little research. I don't know if Doozy is a company, AK with them, or that's an AK subsidiary, you know, I got to do a little, uh, research on that. But anyway, one of those, uh, kits that I, uh, I was excited to get, you know, most everybody's, you know, getting their, uh, airplane kit, tank kit. Yay, look what I got, me. Uh, pinball machine but anyway uh, the hobby store um, got this uh, about two or three years ago and I've been uh, been waiting them out and uh, waited 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 and finally they went ahead and marked it down and I uh, scooped it up I was ecstatic to get it and uh, it's just one of those I know a lot of people you know really don't care but I think that is just cool you know odd you know you got a pinball machine now I got coca-cola uh, vending machines and all that good stuff so you know just add to it but anyway uh, I like stuff like that but anyway ladies and gentlemen that's what I've got going on today uh, it's uh, Independence Day here in the United States and uh, we always like to talk about the Independence Day models and uh, I try to do a little shut up date uh, too but anyway ladies and gentlemen that's what I got going on today stay tuned for the next exciting uh, episode